The Congress on Sunday replaced the candidate for the Jaipur Lok Sabha seat of fielding Ashok Gehlot's loyalist after a section of party leaders objected to Sunil Sharma's nomination. Mr. Sharma's candidate sparked controversy over his alleged association with the Jaipur dialogue, which is critical of the Congress on social media. Mr. Sharma, however, has asserted that he has no association with the organization and has been invited by it occasionally to present the view of the Congress party. And uh, we uh, have uh, my colleague Hasha, who has all the details. Well, yes, absolutely. You know, Sunil Sharma had become a bit of a political embarrassment for the Congress, especially since it came out that he was in the past associated with Jaipur Dialogues. Now, Jaipur Dialogues was started by a former IAS officer, uh, Sanjay Dixit, and it was something which was launched for right-thinking people. So it had some pretty uh, right-of-center, in fact, extreme right-of-center views, uh, and some of them were quite controversial. It was known for have attacked the Gandhi family, uh, in fact, known personally to have also attacked uh, Shashi Tharoor, who in true Shashi Tharoor style actually gave a statement saying that, you know, this person uh, who is from the, who's been given a ticket, uh, he's obviously, you know, there are half a dozen tweets attacking me from his handle. And in fact, there was one tweet that Shashi actually quoted, which said that, uh, from this handle of Jaipur Dialogues, which said that Shashi Tharoor is just Rahul Gandhi with a thesaurus he stole from a library on his way out. So I think Shashi Tharoor does have a sense of humor, but the Congress party obviously doesn't want to stretch that sense of humor too far, especially in an election. And so they decided it's better to go without Sunil Sharma. After all, you don't want the BJP to have the last laugh. Um, so I think in that case, they decided it's too controversial, too many, uh, you know, uh, statements from the past, which will come to haunt this electoral presence. And so they decided to drop Sunil Sharma. They've gone ahead with Pratap. Now, remember, the caste equations don't really add up for the Congress. This is very much a Brahmin um, Banya seat. Uh, the BJP is playing their, um, uh, you know, bets, placing their bets on Manju Sharma, low profile, organized organizational leader, uh, son of uh, former uh, BJP MLA Bhavar Lal Sharma uh, and that uh, and you have you know um, in, uh, in, in front of her you have Pratap Singh Khacharivas. He's definitely a street hustler. He will bring a lot of, um, you know, fireworks to that election. Uh, but, um, you know, this is a Brahmin seat. But I think the Congress on the back foot here, wrong choice in Sunil Sharma. And they decided they better uh, change the candidate before it's too late. 